through. Yeah. So you couldn't even you couldn't even see the car. Like it, it, was, it went down into this crevice <laughs> and it just disappeared. Wow. Mud slide is running over the car. Swallowed the whole car up. You seen a dude try to get out, he couldn't get out, he closed the door and the car just. Man, look, if the most high wants you, man, he's gonna bring the spirits of judgment out to you. Go ahead. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. It says in the time of their judgment and destruction, they, 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 they pour out sore strokes. Okay, that sore strokes is talking about death. Okay, it's talking about destruction. When you see buildings falling down and, you know, a tornado coming through and ripping the city up and killing people, yep. you know, uh, wildfires, people getting trapped in fires, flooding, Floods. Time. You know what I'm saying? Hurricanes, earthquakes, you know? That's the spirits, that's the spirits that have been created for vengeance, and it says they appease the wrath of him that made them, man. Time. So the Heavenly Father is appeased and he's pleased by the doing of the angels, man. Go ahead. Continue reading. Okay. Verse 29. Fire and hell and famine. Fire and hell. In famine, there goes that word famine again. No food, no water. Fire, being burned alive in a, in a, in a house fire, whatever the case may be, in a car that could be caught on fire. Can't get out with the seatbelt stuck. That's the Heavenly Father's judgment, man, on you. He wants you to suffer. When that one dude, what was his name, the actor, uh, the white cat? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Paul Walker. Yeah, man, when he, when, he, when he smashed into that tree and his whole car went up in flames, hey, the fast and the furious, man. Yeah. The most high made right. that, he, he sanctioned that to happen, man. That's right. <laughs> man, when, when when death comes down upon here, man, people gonna, man, they gonna have to wake up, man. That's right. Better wake up. Go ahead. And death. All these were created for vengeance. All these were created for vengeance, man. Ooh. So fire. It's actually, it's gonna, it's gonna continue going on. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> See? It's like it. Verse 30. Teeth of wild beasts. Teeth of wild beasts is created for vengeance. So when Steve Darwin got stuck by that stingray, yeah. that was a spirit created for vengeance to put the spirit on that stingray to kill him, man. Yep. When you see somebody get mauled alive by a bear, you know what I'm saying? Get mauled in, in the hood on uh, fucking pit bulls and shit. Yeah. You put Private spirit on pit bulls and get your ass, man. Yep. It talks about it. We just read it in Jeremiah 15. I'll say dogs, dogs to tear apart. You know what I'm saying? When a pit bull get a hold of somebody and they just rip, they rip their face off, vengeance sure from the Heavenly Father, man. I can make a quick point. <laughs> you know, Rock it uh, they, uh, and then you'll see it, you know, out of nowhere, and it'll look like some type of a freak accident. Man. Yeah. In reality, that's no accident. Bro. <laughs> that's the judgment of the Heavenly Father coming down, you know. And it, and also in the scriptures it tells you, you know, the angel, it ain't gonna miss his mark. You know, his, his, his word ain't gonna come back boy, man. Man, look, if you, if, you, if you destined to get shot in the head in the left side of your temple, it's gonna happen. Uh -huh. Just like how, just like how one of us, you know what I'm saying, we could walk and stub our, our, our left big toe. That shit hurts, you know what I'm saying? But hey, it's judgment from the heavenly fire. I'd rather have a stub toe than get, than get, a, than get a whole pole penetrated inside my heart or something like that. And having to sit there and, and, and feel everything, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Because even if your death is considered a sacrifice, you know, in this uh, in this world for Jake who's in the entertainment or uh, sports world, that's still judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yasha. Yep. You you were you were you were here for somebody to offer you up. Man. You know, an yeah. issue of death is issue of death, man. You know, you've been selected, mm -hmm. you know, a long time ago for that to actually happen to you, according to your acts, man. You're you you things that you did, you know, in a prior time, man. And that goes into a whole nother topic, but that's the reality of it, man. It's the same, man. You know, you, you, you the script to tell you. Quick. Say, you remember the brother in the camp? I know you remember brother in the camp, uh, brother Gaborga. Yeah. And he had that wreck, he yeah. got tossed Ooh. out the fucking window. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he lived. He lived. That was a warning, yeah. bro. Yeah. The most, hey, man. Shit. The most odd. You can touch it when you want to touch yeah. it. Don't think you can't be touched, man. Yeah. You can be touched. Tom is a terrible power, man. And just because he don't get you right off the bat, man, don't think that he ain't gonna get you. You know, there's a lot of wicked two-thirds of these people on this sign right here that think that they just get away with murder every single day. Like, it ain't nothing that's gonna ever happen to them, man. 
And the Lord always tells you in these scriptures, man, he gonna start in his sanctuary first. You know what I'm saying? So these people gotta get it before anybody else get it. You know? If you got a child, you're not gonna be in the grocery store and your child's running around, you know, fucking up the clothes and, you know, ripping down clothes off the hanger and then you got, it's, it's your child and he, it is another child with him. You know what I'm saying? Are you gonna grab the other child first and start whooping the other child? You know, you gonna, you gonna look at your child first. You gonna give him the business. And then the other child, you ain't gonna really worry about him. You know, I don't know whose parent that is. I ain't gonna touch him. You know what I'm saying? No, you're right, it makes sense. Not the most out with his people against the other nations. Yeah, that's it's the same thing. Y'all uh, brothers remember Cold Case? Uh, they used to, it was a show uh, somebody committed crimes years or oh, decades yeah. ago. Then yeah. they go, uh, then they go case. back. They go back and open. I think that's the name of the show. Cold they, case. Yeah, cold case files. They go back and reopen the case and then have a detective on it and go investigate everybody, find out where you was flawed at, and go and rerun it and everything. And then they ask get taken to jail. People, people may have did it like when they was 18. Yo ass 48, you out of there, bro. Yeah. Ain't nobody forgot about you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how Esau do it, man. Yeah. Esau will build, Esau will let something happen, whereas he will, he'll let you build up a huge case. And he'll be tracking you for years, like 20 something years, he'll just sit there tracking you. And to that time where you got, you 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 stacked up all your sins to the heavens, you know what I'm saying? And then when it's time to bring the smack down, it's gonna come down on you 30 times harder, man. And that's the same thing that was happening with Esau, man. The most high is when Esau's sin just stack, stack up, stack up, stack up, stack up. Say right. you stacking up. Into the time where judgment comes, when you try to when you try to plead your case, you're going to have too many offenses against you to really plead your case, man. That's why utter destruction has to come, you know, come down hard, man. Okay? Absolutely, man. So, you ain't going to get away. You can be 10 years, 30 years, 50 years. You could have did, did a crime when you was 14 years old, and you could be an old man, and, and, and you know, your life done passed by, man. Your eyes done waxed, you know, over, turn blue or whatever. And you don't think you done lived all the fruits of your life, but little do you know, you know, your Hawashah, your Havashim Yahawashah ain't forgot the things that you did, and neither has a so-called white man, uh -huh. you know? You're going, you, you still guilty at the end of the day, man. Just because he did, swift judgment wasn't, you know, Delivered to you at that point in time don't mean that you're not gonna get that, man. The scripture tell you the most high's eyes, he pon he, his eyes ponder upon all man's goings, man. And when you look when you look up that word ponder in the Hebrew, it talks about how it pretty much it means that he he weighs in the balance and he and he weighs out all man's goings. So if you if you if you're walking your life consistently in wickedness, in wickedness, 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 and you do something Righteous on this side, but you continue to be a nigga the majority of your life, man. The most high gonna weigh you gonna balance you out the way you want to balance. If you wanna be if you wanna be if you wanna be a wicked nigga, and every once in a while you may do something good, but you you're, you're consistently on the left hand side, man, that balance beam is gonna do what? It's gonna look like this. The left hand side gonna be way heavier than the right hand side, which is gonna cause what? You can break it down, y'all. This is Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 16, starting at verse 11. That's exactly going right to what the fuck is talking about, man. Now, on your works, if you were wicked nigga on the side, the most I have desolated for you, there's no way that you're going to get away and wiggle out the judgment. Whether it be on Esau or whether it be our people, man. Why? Because what does uh, Second Edge chapter 9 tell you? They, when they get had liberty, they load the most high's law. They gonna know death by pain. It's not a regular death. They gonna get fucked up. Yeah, it's like Esau, bro. By pain. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So the most high's letting everybody build up a tab that has destruction inside because the judgment's gonna be so heavy around the world for everybody. He's letting everybody just build up that tab. Whether you are a heathen, whether you're top heathen like Esau, whether you're two thirds of our people, everybody's built up that tab, man, for the judgment that the most high has coming. So your works have to match the judgment that he has. So he's letting everybody do that little bullshit until it's a time, man. Yep. Go ahead, bro. Okay. Verse 11. And if there be one stiff neck among the people, it is marvel if he escape unpunished. Right. Marvel if he escape unpunished, man. Yep. All right? That's a thing. That's a that's a wonder in the sight to see if he, if he gets away from the hands of the Heavenly Father. Yeah, that's right. Why is that a marvel? Because you know it's not going to happen. That's right. Okay? Go ahead. Okay, brother. For mercy and wrath are with him. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. He's mighty to forgive. That's showing you the elect waking up on this side, all the works that we did. But it's, it's equal balance. 
So his, his mercy, all, you think about all the works that you did in your life, all the bullshit you did, however old you are, and you here today receiving knowledge of the Heavenly Father. Just think on the, on the left hand side, okay? Ooh. What is his pleasure? Go ahead. Verse 12. And as his mercy is great, so is his correction also. So is his correction also. Go ahead. He judges the man according to his works. He judges according to your works. Go ahead. Verse 13. The sinner shall not escape with his spoils. Right, so the sinner's not gonna escape with his spoils, man. That's right. No matter all the works that Esau did, like the brother made the reference cold case files, all right, if you if you if you set up to get caught and get judged, man, you're not gonna escape. It don't matter how long it takes. That's why Ecclesiastes 11, 8 and 11 tells you that uh, because sins against the evil work is not executed speedily. Hey, it's still sin of hard sons of men to do evil, man. All right, do you start thinking, oh, Walk around doing all this madness across the planet Earth, man, and he ain't been touched yet. America walk around bullying the hell out of everybody. All right, trying to police everybody else, trying to be the moral police when this is the worst place known to man. That's right. Okay? So they're not going to escape. And the patience of the godly shall not be frustrated. And that's, that's, and that's also going to the patience of faith of the saints, man, in Revelation chapter 9. Yep. So that's why, that's why we still out here doing this work, man. Because the patience of the godly man is not going to be frustrated. All right, we're, we're going to see the most high make good on this promise, man. That's everyone right. that needs to get the ass whooped in the spirit is going to get it, man. And everyone that's going to get blessed on the right-hand side is going to get it. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, that's, yep. that's, that's beautifully broken down, man. The most high ponder is all man in his goings, man. And if, if you if, if you slated for death like the brother said, beautifully, man, you're going to be slated for death, man. Okay? If it's, if, it's set for, if it's set for you to be impaled in your foot by... Or get struck by lightning. You know, we've seen videos of that happen, man. Look, if you get struck by lightning, bro, that's you 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 gotta just admit just like look, you know, it's the heavenly father. <laughs> no, you know that lightning's an angel, right? Yeah. 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 It's lightning's an angel, man. It's an angel, boom, you know what I'm saying? Bow. It's like when they move. Like you know what I'm saying? Giving you that canela. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 8 and 11. Because against an evil work is not executed speedily. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. That's one of my favorite scriptures, man. Because since sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, you know, you, you, you're you continuing to pile up your wickedness, man. And you feel like, hey, nothing bad ain't happened to me now. I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue doing it, man. I'm going to continue committing adultery. I'm going to continue smoking cigarettes. I'm going to continue eating pork. You know, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue. Uh, you know, being covetous against my neighbor, lusting after all manners of just BS. I'm gonna continue to do it because hey, ain't the bad happened to me yet? Yep. My grandma been eating. My grandma been eating pork for 50 years, and she ain't had the bad happen yet. Go ahead. It says, therefore, the heart of the sons of men is set, is fully set in them to do evil. Therefore, the hearts, meaning your, the minds of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So if you if you continue to do something on and on and on, and it becomes a perpetual thing to do, it becomes a routine or I'll say a habit, you know? Because you feel, hey, you know, hey, the Lord hasn't done anything to me yet. I'm gonna continue doing it, but hey, the Lord hasn't done anything to me yet. I know I need to get right, I'm gonna do it again. But, hey, the Lord hasn't done anything to me yet. Your heart is fully set and continual, uh, perpetual. It's a perpetual set to, to do evil, man. Yep. You know? Go ahead. John, it says... Uh, Actually, man, and that's why the Heavenly Father needs to, to bring the judgment on this place, man, because ultimately what's missing in America is the fear of the Heavenly Father. That's right. right. Okay? The fear of the Heavenly Father is missing in America, which is it's, it's being brought back, man. But when, when the Most High really shines His face upon this place, man, you're going to have to do nothing but bow down and submit to the Heavenly Father, man. Either bow down by death and by the sword or by famine, like it tells you. Being slated from death to, to the sword to the sword, man. That's right. You know? Okay. It says, though a sinner do evil a hundred times. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, so you perpetually just sinning, man. Just perpetually breaking the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father purposely, yep. willfully. I'll say that. Okay? Because there is presumptuous, there, there are uh, sins of ignorance that you may not know which somebody reproves you on that and you know not to do it again. That's what you call repentance. Yeah. 
turning back for something that you were once doing. Turning yeah. your mind away from something. But when you're fully set in your mind to do evil and sin a hundred times, knowing that it's transgression against the law and you still do it. It says, uh, and his days be prolonged. And his days be prolonged. Nothing happens to him. He's still living a long life. Go ahead. Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them who fear the Most High. But surely, surely it's going to be well with them that fear the Heavenly Father, man. Yep. It's going to be good for those that fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, because why? Because they walk in fear. That's right. They know not to do certain things, and they have judgment and prudence in the earth and subtility and craftiness. Yep. Because the Word shows us. It's a lamp. It, it guides us in a way of darkness. That's right. It guides us in the land of darkness, I meant to say. Any more than that? Yeah, it's a little more. It says, uh, I know it, uh, it shall be well with them who fear the Most High, who fear before Him, but it shall be, but it shall not be well with the wicked. But it's not going to be well with the wicked. It's not going to be well with those that transgress the ways of Yahweh and Yahweh mm -hmm. That transgress the ways of righteousness. Okay? It's not going to be well for you, man. Go ahead. Neither shall he prolong his days. And your days aren't going to be prolonged, man. It tells you in, in Job, the 21st chapter, how often is the candle of the wicked put out, man? How quickly can you blow out a candle? It's not like you blow on a candle and it just, the flame sits there, and then it just dwindles down real slow, and all of a sudden, tss, no, the gate just, boom, it's out. You know what I'm saying? And that's how the Heavenly Father gonna do with Esau, man. And Jake. If the Most High went Jake through, he can blow the candle out just quick. Just like that. Which is going to happen? It tells you the day of the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. Okay? No, go ahead, brother. If I could make a quick point, brother, you know, just to, you know, to back up what the brother is saying about, you know, these people on this sign right here, man, that goes specifically for a lot of you, you Jakes out there that, that you know that you Israel, man. You know, just knowing that you Israel ain't going to get you into the kingdom, man. Right, right. That uh, itself is long. Just like this brother was saying, there's some of y'all out there that that know what the laws and statutes and the commandments are about, man. You know that you fucking up, man. You know? And you think that uh, just because somebody reproves you about it or tells you something about it, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you act like you just don't hear them. You know, and you act like just just by knowing that you're an Israelite gonna get you get you in there, man. And that ain't that ain't it. You know, if I could get a quick scripture, this is uh, Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 12, and I'm going to start at the 13th verse. This is just going in what this brother's just talking about, man. It says, let us, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. You know, and how are you going? How are you going to be able to keep the commandments without the fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? That's, right, That's the reason that the, uh, the the twelve tribes of Israel kept the commandments, man. Not just because it was cool, not because it's a fad, not because Kendrick Lamar is doing it, not because people have uh, purple garments, flashy garments, man. That's the problem with Jake, man. They think it's a fucking fraternity, man. This is this is a heritage. This is a culture. This is. This is your culture. It's a not not only a way of life, but it is life. That's right. Huh. It's you know? your, it, it is it, it is your way of life. Huh. Because Absolutely. it tells you in the scriptures that the wisdom that the wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures was going to be your wisdom for the nations, man. You know, having a beard on our, having a beard on your face and not and not edging up to, and not edging up yourself. That goes to show you, man. Like in, in, in your dietary law, okay, laws of specific sacrifices, how they need to be done. You know, certain certain laws and ways, man. That was supposed to be a sign for the other nations to look at us like, man, this this is a wise and understanding people. Yep. That's right. Not only that, yep. it was a it was a symbol of your faith, man. Yep. Having a beard, a, a long beard like that, like Aaron had, that was a symbol of faith, man. Yep. You know, that you you truly believed in the law, statutes, and the commandments, and you kept them because you feared the Most High. You feared Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shot. All because of what this brother has been talking about for the past, you know past minute or so, you know, because of the things that can, that he can do to you. <laughs> He's the author of his errors, man, you know what I'm saying? That's why it tells you to be a, to be a doer of the word and not just to hear it, man, because this is one Jake, you know, that knows he's an Israelite, 
You know, and he straight up told me, like, you know, he straight up told me, like, I mean, I know me, I, I know I'm probably gonna get destroyed, but you know, I just, I just at least wanna get my hand. I'm like, man, the Heavenly Father gonna probably destroy you first, man, before you can even see anything, man. Yeah. Well, and, and that just goes to show you, man, Jake has no, Jake has no confidence, Jake has no self-esteem, Jake just wanna fucking play too much, man. Jake wanna fucking play too much, man. But you know what? Hey, and I straight up told him straight up. I'm like, look, man, knowing that you knowing that, he ain't gonna let you see the he ain't gonna let you see the downfall of your enemies, man. He gonna kill you. He gonna kill you. Probably, man, he might fuck around and smoke you first, man, before anybody on the planet Earth. Just for saying that. You never know. You never know. I let your enemies get you. He gonna let Esau have a way with you. You wanna you wanna get your hand, you like, man, I hate coons, this, this, and that. I just want to just get my chance, man. The most high man, man, the most high may have it with Jake. Fuck you up, man. That's right. You know, and you know that he know he a Jake. He know, he knows that. You know what I'm saying? But hey man, this is gonna show you, man. Fuck man, fuck Jake, man. Fuck Jake, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, man. If you ain't down for the if you ain't down for the law, statutes, and commandments, and and Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, walking after his ways, man, hey man. Man, 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 the most high, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Shalak, Rayyam, Wah, Nashim, Wah, Badim, Wah, Ragnim, Wah, Mashapayim, I'll call to all the two thirds, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I fucking hate niggas, man. That's right. You had any more than that? Son, this is, um, I'll start back at 13. It says, But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days. Which are as a shadow. Which are as a shadow, man. One, one moment you see your shadow, one moment it's gone. It tells you, that the, it tells you in the book of James, how, how I believe it's the fourth chapter, how a man's life is a vapor. You know what I'm saying? When you when you blow when you blow when you blow your breath in a cold day, you see your vapor for a minute, then it disappears. Yep. That's how your life is in the eyes of the heavenly Father. Time is different. One 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 uh, day with the Lord is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like one day. So I mean, you you can feel like you done, man. I've been I've been in the I've been in the truth for 40 years. That ain't nothing compared to what. That ain't nothing compared to the most. That's what a couple seconds. Five hot, maybe five, a second five minutes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's why it's, that's why it's 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 pivotal that the laws cannot save you. The laws, statutes, and commandments isn't what saves you, man. You have to be delivered from the from the sa you have the savior has to come down here and get you, man. You have to believe on Yahweh Shai. And believing on Yahweh Shai is going to cause you to work out of fear to follow his word. That's right, brother. Which, in default, makes you follow the commandments That's to the right, best brother. of your ability. But ultimately, salvation is through Yahweh Shai, man, through his That's right hand. Right. Go ahead. That's right. All right, it says, uh, <clears throat> which are as a shadow because he feared not before the Most High. Because he feared not before the Most High. So, man, when the, when the Lord wants to get you, you know what I'm saying? You, you could be doing good, and all of a sudden you just get you, you get got. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever your wickedness you just did, you literally just did it. And then the Most High, actually, in all actuality, man, the Most High.